talk Gamescom now, because in the past 24 hours, we've had a Microsoft press conference, a Sony press conference, uh, big to-dos over there in Germany. If you've watched, we had them live on the site, as well as live blogged, and a bunch of uh, articles related to them, if you want to read more on those, about the stuff we're going to talk about now. So just listen up, exactly. Microsoft. Exactly, like reading is done, man. Come on, <laughs> it's over. we're talking Forget about it here, done. Let's talk about Microsoft's press conference. Uh, did you guys did you guys wake up too early in your in your Absolutely life to watch it? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, no. So you've you've read about it, you've heard about yeah, it. Yeah. Presumably, one of the things you've heard about Rise of to the Tomb Raider is let's see if I can word this right. Uh, holiday 2015 exclusively on Xbox. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So a that's big that it's exclusively on Xbox, but for what period of time is the big question? Right. How much value does that have? Uh, well, it's a holiday season, so you know they're asking. You know they're asking people that if you want it for Christmas this year, this mm -hmm. is the one platform you can get it on, or two. You know, or so two, because they said exclusively version. on Xbox. Right. They so didn't clarify maybe there could be way. a 360 version. You'd like to think that at some point they'll stop making Xbox 360 games and start making them for the new platforms mm -hmm. instead of these like these old dinosaurs. Yeah, like straddling the line and making mm -hmm. no one happy. Um, yeah, it's you know I feel like you know hey this this is just like do you want to play Rise of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, PS4 then mid PS4. 2016 yeah PC or, or Trans Effects yeah. Deluxe yeah, yeah. there's uh, plenty of people that don't want to wait that long I mean I know yeah. that uh, I, I like the first one quite a bit and oh, so yeah. yeah I'll just buy it on Xbox so I think it's a pretty good get for them. Yeah, is it a system seller? Does it tip it's the not, needle? Like, I don't think it's that like killer app or anything like that. Not. But it's it was a really good game that last. Every, every so little I bit helps it. when it comes to that stuff. You yeah. know, it's like Sony did their Destiny stuff, and you know, it's like it's everyone's got their own little bits here their and little there. Little first on. But this is, I mean, this is a major sequel in a major franchise. Uh, you know, it, it's certainly bigger than like. You got some better pauldrons in Diablo if you got the PlayStation version or, or whatever. Get it your is, Last so. of Us clickers that you can fight, as opposed to right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, it's that's that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It, it's hard for me to like get too built up about it because I just didn't get into that last Tomb Raider game. Oh, you didn't that much. So I'm with Dan. That thing was awesome. It was but awesome, yeah. and then the ending. Kind of just turned me. Is the it because wrong way. you guys are creeps and you're all you bought into the whole thing of like, yeah, they want they want you to want to protect Lara. <laughs> it's I alive. actually like the island's sick alive. Fuck, <laughs> I mean, Waters, a little bit because I like you do the Ugh. environmental deaths and then it's Ugh. like, oh god, I actually really don't want to die. They that do was a good yeah. job with those deaths. Yeah. But between that and like that and Dead Space, I think does the best. Weird. Just jarring, like, oh god, that's yeah, terrible. That's death. 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 Dead Space was that just that was a thinks we're like into snuff films now, Dan. We are, yeah, I mean, yeah. we'll talk about that off camera. But cool, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a bonus segment. So there you go, the sequel to 8mm will be available <laughs> yes, exclusively on yes. the Xbox One. Speaking of <laughs> Rise of the Tomb Raider, colon, kill them machine, kill them all. <laughs> oh, God. What? Dark. <laughs> Dark. Uh, speaking of exclusive to Xbox One, we've got to look at Quantum Break, some new... We saw the gameplay, basically, for the first time. And, hey, it's a third-person shooter. Finally. Can I hide behind stuff? Yes. Great. Wait. But there needs to be more than me just popping dudes in the head. Is there some kind of weird mechanic that involves that like uh, polygonal time fractalization thing? If I miss a headshot, can I roll it back to get it right the next time? <laughs> <laughs> what about a confusing TV show that no one seems to know how it works? Does it have yes. that? Yes. No, we're not even going to talk about that this time around. <laughs> yeah. You just uh, you get to pop dudes. No, yeah. it's okay. it's good that they're finally showing this as a game. I know, like when they when they shut down that LA studio, people were like, "What does this mean for Quantum Break?" And they're like, "Nothing. Don't worry. Cool it. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine." <laughs> It's gonna be a game. Um, yeah, so you know, it's like it's the next game from these guys, and, and that's that's exciting. They've they've done some some amazing work. So hopefully this will pan out. I mean, I think it looks nice, but yeah, at some point if you're like, yeah, oh, we're by the way, all this work is going into a cover shooter. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, we um, also had Alan Wake had its sort of shooting mechanics, yeah, but, it, with but the, it wasn't with the flashlight mm, and right, the, you right. know, there's so is this you know, is the the stuff we see here in a little bit is it that is that going to be a, a a gimmick that's interesting that like strings you between the in the the like more compelling narrative connections or mysteries. Uh, these mm, are the, I don't know. It's know, a tentatively you know. excited about it because I think it's a nice looking game, but you know, like it's kind of too early to tell. Did you like Alan Wake? Not especially. I didn't either. Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant on this one. Yeah. yeah, I think we're gonna see some weird stuff happen in here. But the rest of the Microsoft press conference, I don't know. If He's anything... hiding behind something and shooting people. You're right. That <laughs> <Yeah>. is weird. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Jeff, the, the cans are moving. You see, oh my and goodness. then he's running away from a grenade uh, because basically, at any time he runs, time freezes. Is that a time boost kind of like, run? Yeah, you've got like this a... little like cool. yellow line in the corner, depleting whenever he does that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, the time. You know, I never want to run out of that time rewinded potion. Yeah, as long as I can use that, 
Yeah, we're, as long as we can talk about what Soldier Boy said yeah. about Braid <laughs> for another couple of years, uh, then yes, please give me more time, more games There's involving no time. There's no point to this game. You just you just shoot. <laughs> yeah, and then you're right side. That's it's right. It's like Mario again. for people who like to get high, as he said. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. This yes. is like uh, Gears of War for people who like to get high. I thought Gears of War was for <laughs> Gears of War for people who like to get high. <laughs> Well, you know, it's a big demographic. There's a lot of there's I a lot of so. money there. It's Denver. It's legal there. The rest of uh, Microsoft's press conference, I mean, they talked a lot. They did kind of the what I think of as the Sony thing, beating that indie drum, that IDA Xbox thing, saying we've got you know Space Engineers, Goat mm -hmm. Simulator, all coming first on Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, did you guys get any general impressions of how the you know? Totally, how, how the conference went, how it worked out for Microsoft, what their message was. I, I think you know, I, I think they got some stuff that got people talking. You know, they they also got out there and talked about you know, it's like n nothing that you would get up on stage and get all sexy about, but like the DLNA support for media playback and you know, kind of getting that stuff on the box. Finally, they put out a codec list that actually supports all the codecs you'd want it to support, unlike the 360, which didn't. So maybe less transcoding for people in the future. I Very exciting a word you just said. Jeff. Video, <laughs> see, video files. <laughs> okay. Is, all right. I know what those is. You need to download the real player mm -hmm. and install that. Then yeah. you can watch real video files. Just get it right, the yellow, the purple Exactly. It's right there. It's just, the you just get close to tray. your monitor. It's fine. Fantastic. Yeah. Sony. Now let's talk about that one. Mm -hmm. I, I did get to watch the mostly the entirety of. They yeah. rolled a bunch of trailers. Yeah, yeah. Saw Except some, for the parts that broke. Yep. Yeah, there were some broken yeah, parts. That. That At least the camera work was a little steadier this year. <laughs> Last year's like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, yeah. devil may care attitude. Uh, the, one of the highlights for me was like during that, you know, the weird talky part where they just talk about features and don't show cool stuff, but actually some of the features are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. PlayStation Now, PlayStation TV, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The share play was sort of the one they right. talked about. I think they kind of announced it. Yeah, they, yeah, it was one of the kind of initial things they talked about with the console, mm -hmm. and then it wasn't. It was one of the many features that weren't there at launch, even though they talked about it. So they're they're kind of getting ready to make good on that. So as I understand it, it's uh, local games that you can play local co-op, like you and a buddy on the couch. If you can play those online with, like, if Dan and I want to play Child of Light together, and I'm you know the the princess adventuring around, and you're my little igniculus Firefly buddy, if you do, if you don't have the game. We can just we can connect online. You can play as that dude in my game. Okay, so like that's I read that straight from a Sony blog post. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the idea. That. That but but also, okay. I think that you know the, the other thing is that this will be kind of like pass the controller type stuff. When they yeah. talked about this feature originally, it was the idea of like you're at a spot in a game, you're stuck, mm -hmm. and you can hand the control of the game over to someone else, and they can get past that spot for you. Uh, so this. Sounds like it will be using something similar to PlayStation Now, like a video streaming, because they're saying you know the person doesn't need to own the game. Right. So you know it'd be so like you know over a video somewhere. stream, you'll be able to invite them to take control via video and mm -hmm. play the game for a while, and then that'll also theoretically work for games that you want to play local co-op in. That, that's where it gets a little shaky for me because it's like, well, developers couldn't be bothered to do the work to make it online for realsies, huh? Right. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Why make uh, online local? But, but well, it's specifically there anyways. for people that don't own the game. So right. it could be like, you know, if my sister's having a you know, really tough time with a boss fight in a game, you know, mm -hmm. she could have me just kind of dial in, I guess, and mm -hmm. take over for a little bit. But yeah, I wonder how that works with signing in and trophies and things like that. Like if you're controlling someone else's game, if that, I, I don't know. Do you get the, the puppet master trophy uh, for, you know, helped out, <laughs> help someone through a yeah, tough yeah, part? Yeah, I could see that. But the other example they gave was uh, Towerfall Ascension, uh, which, and they, the example was specifically like, cooperatively take on a challenge quest, right? So I've got Towerfall, I want to beat this quest. Jeff comes in to help me out. But Towerfall Ascension is a local competitive game as well. Right. So like, can you and I also just duel? I'm going to say probably. I, I, my, what I took away from the press conference and, and just kind of talking about that feature mm -hmm. you know, uh, over time as they, they've kind of talked about it and not talked about it, is that, yeah, it, it is just kind of, we could just jump in and, and play whatever we want. Because it'll be basically kind of, I think the theory is that it'll be just translating controller inputs that are coming in over the network to controller inputs that would be in happening locally. Yeah, so. Uh, so at some point, you start to actually extrapolate that out and think about consumer grade broadband connections and bandwidth concerns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like PlayStation now is running on gigantic, insane servers and uh, you know is, is not just like you were there no. uh, all the time. Yeah. Uh, and you know, on live and certainly stuff like that. And in the doing past, a so. Towerfall Ascension versus like an NBA 2K. Yeah. 15. yeah. And you, you think about Towerfall Ascension and the reason why it doesn't have online multiplayer is kind of twofold of it being a small team that might not be able to make that work happen. But also like that theory of like, you know, the latency is too much. Yeah. You need that 
So Sharpness. imagine taking that latency and then adding to it an entirety, entire video stream. That doesn't sound like it'd be a fun experience. I don't know. So I, I feel like that's going to be one of those things that it will work better for some games than others, and, and who knows how they'll like uh, compensate for some of that stuff. Or, but. or even like for Far, Car Far Cry 4, how they, what was that whole thing with the, with the 10 keys? Yeah, yeah. so they, they announced that back at E3. Yeah. They did, and then they said what? Only two hours then? Yeah, so, they, so back at E3, they did say it was like right, a time-limited right. thing. So, yeah. yeah, you'll be able to invite up to ten people yeah. separately um, to download some version of the game, uh, and then they'll be able to play with you for two hours. Yeah. That, to me, just seems like a pre-order thing waiting to happen. Exactly. Of just like, hey, convert this download you already downloaded into the real thing. Yep. Here's your credit card. Like, that just Enter seems your like credit a card. Carry, yeah, carry that, 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 progress through. Yeah, it just you know? seems like yeah. them building Boom. an upsell Which opportunity. Which is pretty smart. And, and it is a pretty neat way. Probably is pretty smart. And I think so. two hours of playing co-op is a good amount of time to decide whether or not you like a game enough to drop 60 bucks. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's really smart. Uh, what did you guys think about the cardboard box showing? <laughs> that was Metal great. Gear <laughs> that solid was situation. the best. That was absurd. So stupid, <laughs> so oh great. My God. I love it. It's just like, hey, you know, we talked about the cardboard box before, but look, man, we really want to get into the nuances. <laughs> let's, let's we dive haven't told in. you everything about this cardboard it's box. It's not just a box. Uh, we also put a pinup on it, and our sol the soldiers you go up against are like, what, it's, so hard up that they uh, are like, I mean, right, oh man, there's a picture of a sexy lady over here. I've got to run up on it. Yeah, like I Looney mean, that, Tunes all over again. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about Perfect. it, that's been the MO of Metal Gear for some mm -hmm. time now with yep. the, the horn magazines just and just magazines the other weird here. stuff they've done over time. Like, the, the soldiers are <laughs> horn dogs and it's, it's creepy. And complete yeah. idiots. Yeah. Because and they complete that's idiots. So I mean, no. uh, to fall for this. I, I like that they have added a bunch of features to the cardboard box, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Like first cardboard, first Metal Gear person is, cardboard Metal Gear is so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. Metal Gear is so it's stupid. So it's so <laughs> great. It's so I love that. I love that it is stupid. Uh, but, but, but also trying to be super serious. Right, yeah. It's, and then it's just like this weird preachy, you know, war <laughs> tale. And then here I am hiding in a cardboard box. It's, Real time, twenty-four hour day cycle. Like at some point, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Box. Someone needs to just save oh, yeah. save Kojima oh, from himself. My God. <laughs> There's a later one where the box is on the ground. He yeah. just crawls out the side. Yeah. The dude yeah, has this one, I no think that's this one this here. One, yeah. yeah. The dude's uh, got so no great. peripheral vision. He's well, he's distracted. There's a sexy lady on it. Oh, my goodness. She's in, a, it. she's in a bed of flowers? Yeah. yeah. What's, What's happening over, over here? here? He dropped his gun, I think. <laughs> I, I also love how much someone really thought about that. Like, different, you know, it's like an origami box. Like, different art right. could be on different folds. Yeah, I like how it's 1984 and he's got a PS4 box on his head. That's I like everything that's happening. That's got to be just for the trailer. That's that's probably not I wouldn't put a pass. That's, that's, they, they do that some can't dumb be stuff. In the game. Yeah, Metal Gear is really stupid. It always has been. <laughs> that's like, it, it's been stupid here. in ways that like oh. make me super angry at times. But sometimes it's stupid in the exact right way. I mean, they I had that's, that's closer to the exact right way. They had that issues of Game Informer and Metal Gear Three, which was set in the '60s, so they could have a PS4 box on the side mm. in 1984. So yeah. it could be canon in the. Yeah. Stupid, stupid world of Metal Gear. Ugh. The, be uh, the best lore. All right, last game I want to talk about out of the Sony press conference. They finished it up. Uh, Michel Ancel's new team, Wild Sheep. This game, Wild, uh, which just basically showed a bunch of people running around and then a bunch of animals running around, and yeah. they said you can play as those animals. Did you guys get anything more solid out of this? I liked that? it because, you ever play Tale of the Sun on PlayStation 1? No, I saw you tweet about that, and I looked it up, and I had no idea what's going on. It is a fantastic, weird game, and this just it's reminds me of it in a lot game. of ways. It's, it's a super weird it's game. so great. And this looks like a, a next generation uh, uh, Tale of the Sun. So. I think the, the weird part was seeing Encel come out and like not be there with Ubisoft and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I guess, like, I, I don't know, maybe did you track this down at all? Apparently he is still with Ubisoft, but also doing this separately. Really? I, yeah. I don't know. Like yeah. that's that was the the talk that we got uh, that that came our way via Twitter as this was happening. That I, huh. I didn't actually go verify, but that just seems ridiculous at some point. Like, it sounds what, like this is strictly a side project for him. It's amazing that they would let him do that. Maybe that was the the compromise of just like, look, man, we're never gonna let you make Beyond Good and Evil Two. Why don't you just stop? And he's like, well, I want to go make my weird game about bow and arrow hunters, and you can play as a sheep. And a giant and they're like, lady. Uh, and, and they asked him, they said, can you make it so you can climb up towers to reveal more of the world? And he's like, no. And he said, well, then it can't be a Ubisoft game. Yeah. So uh, sorry. And then at that point, he had to go out on his own to make it. So. But then still, they're like, we might still need you to come in and like reinvent Rayman to d everyone's delight At some delight point, someone's going to have to do know. it again. You know, we've we're, made two of these. We're, we're keeping dibs on you right. in some way. Uh, Super weird. 
it's weird. I mean, there's a tree. There's a giant tree giant lady. There's a big tr yeah, this, right. tree lady. I'm, I'm down. And there uh, were furries in it earlier. I don't know. Like <laughs> boars running with wolves and uh, any game that lets me play as an animal, I am way down with because I don't. I think video games, you know, have that power to take us outside. I would rather have a Tokyo Jungle too. Really. Yeah, you want to play those as animals. Like, those like hollowed-eyed Pomeranians, yeah. like looking at you from their dark souls. Those things freak me out. Hey, it was a rough world, man. That, that's true. All right, guys, uh, that's Gamescom news for today. But of course, Gamescom is running all week, and it's a huge show. So we've got stories posting all the time for that. We've got a team over there. Uh, are you guys doing any Gamescom-related stuff? No, it's not that huge of a show. All right, well, tell us. Like you're, you're lying about it. It's, it's, it's not. They, they it's already announced the, the biggest. They already announced the Sierra stuff. Like Geometry Wars <laughs> is coming, but Cake Bread's not involved, so who cares? Every like, single you know, day like, we'll <laughs> have breaking news on Gamespot.com <laughs> that you will not want to miss. Kano is in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs>